Time to elevate your mind with us, JC. Let's take a journey to new possibilities. Open up your mind to things you cannot see. It's time to elevate. Elevate, elevate, elevate your mind with us, JC. Welcome to Elevate by SJC Podcast. I'm your host, Sam. And I'm your co-host, Tony. Welcome back, Tony. Did you enjoy last week's show? I did. I, I had a, a really good time. A lot of good feedback. It was a great first podcast. Kudos. Well, look, well, look you ain't got to be nervous. We're not live. We, you know, this time... I was a little bit nervous, but hey, we got over that. Yes, this time people don't have a DJ. It's, it's finally me and Miss Tony. Appreciate uh, DJ Lisa for the uh, intro last week, and uh, she did an amazing job. So now it's time for business. So our topic today is turning your problems to profit. Turning your problems to profit. I know it's not like you know when a preacher get on the stand, he would like today. We're going to talk about, but no, um, it's really a, a crazy topic. Me and Tony were just talking one day, and uh, a lot of people always talk about their problems, right? So we like, you know what? Let's talk about turning your profits, I'm sorry, your problems to profit. But before we get started, Tony, let me ask you a question. I was thinking about it today. So why Tony talks or why what was it the hot spot i don't know, I, I don't know what you're gonna come up with i don't know <laughs> i mean tony talks is catchy i mean that's why essentially i mean i i really did think about doing the whole um all around branding or whatever with the hot spot but um we can do something different we can have different um brands it's okay right because i i do well actually i want to kind of separate my um business wise like your business so you can have like that own identity and then we have the other identity on the other side. So that's essentially, but to, I mean, well, funny story, right? So I used to be a bartender back in my day or whatever, right? And so um, I didn't want anybody to, I was bartending in a hole in the wall and I was this young thing with all these old heads and um, I mean, I was working my way through college. And so I didn't want anybody to be like, on the street, you know, like I'm in doing my other stuff, whatever, like right. there I go, whatever. So I, um, people always call me Tony anyway, but, um, I was just like, just call me Tony instead of call me Antoinette and at, at the bar. Right. And they used to tell me all their stories at the bar. So, you know, we used to have our little Tony talks at the bar. So now here so, y'all go with Tony talks. So we're going with Tony. Or we're going with the hot spot. Which one? No, we definitely going to go with Tony talks. Cause all right. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave that that hot spot up under. Well, you know. well, look, my homeboy yesterday. Is your phone not on silent while we handle the business? Yeah, my bad. Look, hey, you know we hot right now. They be calling. <laughs> but look, my homeboy yesterday, he was like, "Do we call her Tony or her Antoinette?" They're like, "Who is Tony?" I said, "Just call her Tony. That's her name. It's not T O N Y, T O N I." But anyway. Yeah. So y'all can call me what y'all know me by though. Like on the, I mean, don't like not call me Antoinette because you've been calling me Antoinette since you knew me. You know, like yeah. continue to call me Antoinette, right? But in business, you can refer to me as Tony. Okay, go ahead. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, cool. So, go ahead, go ahead, Miss Tony. No, no, you got it. So anyway, while she over there, you know. In her feelings, talking whatever, but no, really, we talked. We appreciate everyone last week who tuned in. It's gonna be a big movement. A lot of people said, "I hope Tony's on there." I hope Tony's on there. So yes, yeah, she is a co-host. So um, it's SJC first, then Tony. But anyway, so I'm just a backup singer. No, no, never that. I'm just. Um, it's not. Go ahead. I'm Dion Warwick. You just bring me out for the the end. Cool, cool. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people, you know, we see them all the time. They always talking, you know, like people love to complain, man. Like I just interact with a lot of people daily, especially, you know, my profession, which of course I'm not going to name. And I always hear people talking about their problems, but I'm like, okay, you have this going on or, Hey, 
you know, your baby daddy or your cousin, your mama, your sister, or this. But how are you turning that around? Like, we cannot exist and live 20, 30 years and complaining about the same thing. Someone told me a long time ago, if you continue, if you're not continue, but let's say today is what, September the 14th, if you're still talking about the same thing this time next year, you're not elevating. No, if you're continuing to talk about the same thing, like this time, maybe next month, are you oh, really yeah. elevating? Like, That's I true. mean, I really don't even want to hear the same story next week, to be honest, right? But, I mean, I let people slide. But I ain't going to be talking about something over and over again. Right. I mean, we know this for a fact. I will ignore, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, so. I, I think yeah, the, I mean, the biggest thing is just I just don't understand like why people or why do we as humans always complain about things, but we never turn that around, especially, you know, when you're in certain situations where it ever be financially or um, emotionally, whatever, you know, not judging anybody, but why do we sit there daily and we complain about the same thing or we go to the same job that we don't like? So what are you going to do about it? And I want people to understand that when we say profit, yes, monetary, but not so much profit off your emotions or profit off, off your happiness. Like do something about it. Not just saying, oh, I can do hair. I need to make a million dollars or, hey, I can, you know, dance, whatever. Right. It's, it's not about like turning that into a monetary thing. It's all about the overall happiness. So I want people to understand that this is not a get rich scheme show that we're going to see here and say, hey, this is what you can do to elevate and profit off of this. No, it's not about this, it's about overall the happy person. So we cannot continue to complain or talk about things, put in action because like we always say, or my daughter loves to say, I taught her, you know, you, you complain about things today or you say you're going to do this tomorrow, but tomorrow never comes. So why put off something tomorrow when you can do it today? Well, a lot of people are really, really they're complacent and uh well i'm i'm gonna say people know the level that they're on right now so right if i'm on this level right now i know that right here i'm cool but if i go higher or if i i step out of my comfort zone and i go higher then i may fail and that's what a lot of people hold you know they hold themselves back a lot of times thinking that i'm i'm gonna fail but i mean you you're going to fail at something in order to achieve greatness. Like, I mean, you need to fail, honestly, so that you don't get so high up and then fall. And then you're like to in shambles. Like, where do you go from here? So I you, think a lot know, of people that, are complacent. Yeah, that, that's, that's crazy that you say that you're going to fail. I listened to something. Oh, I think it was Steve Harvey. He was talking about uh, you have to jump. Like you're going to fail, right? You know, that's the thing about life. You're going to fail at something, but you know, you're never going to fail if you don't try. Oh, right? absolutely. A hundred percent. So yeah. that's the whole, that's the whole overall thing. Like elevating off of something, fail at something, but also be great at it. Um, so that's the whole thing about, you know, why do we complain all the time? Why do we do nothing? And I get tired of having conversations with people. <laughs> it's the same thing last week. You know, like I said, it's not a judgment zone, but Hey, your car didn't work last week. It didn't work this week, but you was at the club on Wednesday. That don't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? Or, hey. Yeah, I hope ain't nobody at the club at this moment. You know, know what I mean? Hey, you know, you see those. <laughs> look, yeah, well, real. Yeah, you're right. You're you, right. Look, there's no such thing as COVID to a lot of people. So people are still yeah. going out. But it's crazy, though. People, they'll go get Jordans. They'll go get, you know, the, the, the what's that? What, Balenciaga. They get all that, those things, right? But they're complaining about their situation, but you're not changing it. But you're spending money on wasteless things that, you know, that that doesn't elevate you to a, a, a greater person. Well, in their mind, I'm going to just play devil's advocate. I mean, they may think that they're they're elevating in a um, society view, you know, being able to show those things off. And I mean, you don't know. I mean, what goes through people's heads? Yeah, they said, and, right. But I'm just saying, like, they I mean, may be thinking that it's a it's a. Yeah, I think it's important to also have that mental structure as well also because, I mean, you know, having that mental is very important. You know, I always tell my mom all the time, she'll call me and say, hey, well, this going on? And I said, well, guess what, mama? Everybody's not you. 
Everybody is not Tony. Everybody is not me. It doesn't work like that. Did I tell you that, or did you tell? Did, did I tell you that, and you told your mama that, or no. how? Let me be honest with you. No, I actually told you that a long time ago, and then you probably Ooh. stole it, and then you probably okay. heard my mama say it. Because I most definitely have told you this a long time ago about certain situations we talked about and been through. That most definitely. I that okay. I, 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 I'm, everybody's I, not. You. But no, I, hold, no, on. I, I will, hold on, hold on, hold on. I will say okay. there's been situations where you did revert that back to me. Say, hey, you remember you told me this? So yes, you have told me that, but it was first my word. So yes, Quiet. you have told me that. Okay, okay. quietly, I, I believe it's the opposite, but okay. it's all in good. As long as we got, <laughs> listen, hold on. As long as we got the point <laughs> that everybody ain't us in situations, which is it's really really crazy because um, with a lot of things we think alike on or whatever and i am definitely grateful for that some things we don't think alike at all right but the core right. values of who we are we think, we think a lot alike yeah like we can literally look at each other and be like yeah this ain't fine so i mean um make sure you're equally yoked with somebody a little bit that's real yeah and no this right? is not a relationship show it may turn into that you know but you know nah. i'm not even gonna go there but, i'm too private it ain't gonna turn uh, yeah, into that yeah. for sure it's oh. not turning into that Shout out to Alabama A and M University. Oh, yeah, we got uh, the uh, yeah. So shout out to them. Our school, uh, go Bulldogs, go yeah. Bulldogs. Um, but yeah, um, but I said it first. But anyway, um, uh, but I think it, the most overall thing is support just, black colleges. Yes, HBCU bad. baby, let's go. Um, but I think the most important thing is just making sure that um, I'm not gonna say necessarily complain, complain, but make something out of your situation, make it greater, right? And it, like I said, it's not saying, hey, oh, I'm greater than the other person or she's greater than the other person. We just like to see people elevate and go to that next level, whatever it may be. Um, be the right. best Bible study teacher there is. You know what I'm saying? Or be like, who said it? Somebody said a long time ago, be the best French fry maker that you can be at McDonald's. Stop that's, those fries to perfection. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Like, make some of your situation. My daughter's coming to eat them, right? Exactly. We're going to spend about three or four dollars at McDonald's three times a week. Um, oh, somebody did ask me today. Matter of fact, they was like, so what does elevate mean? What does elevate mean? So I did want to take a break and like explain that elevate is not all about um, being a millionaire or or monetary value. It's all about just elevating out of your situation mentally emotionally physically financially elevating being greater than internet or sorry tony said it earlier complacency that's the worst place to be in the world i've been complacent there's been pretty plenty of nights that i sat at my computer and sat here and fell asleep and wasn't doing anything with my time right and i, I knew something was greater in me that i could I'm not gonna say profit but it was something greater than me that I can, you know, speak my mind to the world. And it was podcasting. And so I had to come out of the element. It was nothing that she could say or do. You know, she pushed me, right? So, hey, you know, you can do this, you can do that. But it was nothing that she could do. I had to do it on my own time. And I was able to elevate out of that. And now, you know, every night after work, what I'm doing, I'm searching a new article. Hey, how do I do this different? How do I film this differently? Or, hey, just a minute ago, we were talking about mics. She was like, how do you do this? Well, yeah, I studied it. And the volumes was too low, too high, whatever. We fixed it or whatever. But that's how I elevated out my situation. And sometimes you you just can't push people out of situations. You just have to you just have to let them go on their own time, right? And I think we said it last week. I don't think there's a time limit on elevating. Is if you see continued progress from a person. Now, if that person sitting there watching football every day, or they watching Real Housewives, or they watching. Was that Married to Medicine. I actually don't watch them. Now, if, if, if it's some reruns of Monk, I watch it all day. Oh, yeah. Clouding yeah. my DVR, by the way. Thanks I for clouding my DVR. Up. Actually, DVR. speaking of that, like that blonde in the background that's kind of halfway up, it's irking me so much. What blonde? In your background. Other side, other side. It's like a little peekaboo, like somebody was looking out of it. So you want me to get up and go close it? I mean, all you gotta do is put your hand back. That's a long way. Oh my bad. It looked like see definition. Look, yeah. I thought it was in reach of you. It ain't yeah, it in do, reach. It, do, it, do it, look it looked like, like it's in reach. You but it like ain't my reach. sign. Shout out to uh, 
me and Tony. We did the elevate you sign. I was so see. about to say uh shout out to me. You can't see, you gotta go okay, the opposite way, all the way. Try and get something in focus. Yeah, so shout yeah. out to Elevate. Um, but no, on a serious note, um, that's what Elevate is about. Just being greater than beating yesterday. That's that's what it's about, you know. Be you know, I you gotta research and do things um to be greater at. You can't just go in blindside. And I think that's the biggest lesson I've learned. So if anybody want to know what elevate means, that's what it means. And SJC, I mean, my parents named me that. So Sam James Crawford, if you wanted to know. So, go ahead, Tony. Yeah, oh, let, let, me, let me say this. Go, I'm sorry, my bad. I was screaming through the mic. Let me say this. Mm -hmm. It was a situation the other day where my daughter was kind of upset. And I noticed her and me, or me and her, however you want to say it, do not let people take your energy. Right? And that's also a problem. People will take your energy and they would, who it will wear you out. I'm telling you, I see it all the time. There's been situations I've been like, oh. They didn't ruin my day. I don't even want to do nothing, nothing at all. I just want to sit there, cut the lights off, cut my phone off, go to sleep, whatever, you know, because somebody got to me. Do not let people get to you. And I think it's also it, at the same time, it's easier said than done. But I learned something today that, you know, your emotions is based on, you know, your thought process. Right. So if you're sitting there thinking, oh, so and so made me mad today. Right. Or Tony made me mad today or whatever. But if my focus is on something else and not specifically on what she made me mad about, you, you, you know, that's look, that's that's all being a champion right there. You're going to be out of that situation. So that's I think that's the number one thing about problems right there is people, whether it's your friend, your coworker, or your family member, excuse me, family member. If you let them get to you, I'm telling you, it'll ruin your whole day. Um, I think. Just think you have to focus on certain things to get you out of that mindset of, hey, so and so is not going to ruin my day today. Right? You can do positive affirmations. Why well, would? Give me a positive uh, affirmation. Uh, I, well, okay, for instance, um, so the, the sign in, in the bathroom, it says, start today with a grateful heart. I mean, it's something simple, but it's something that you're going to look at every time. You go to the bathroom. That's the first thing that you're going to look at in the morning um, if you're not picking up your cell phone and like checking all that stuff, right? Because what do we do when we get up in the morning? Go straight we to the bathroom, right? What do we do? We, we check the I know. Okay, oh, I'm guilty of it. I'm definitely guilty of it. However, um, but but I'm quickly reminded as soon as I step to, in the bathroom to have a grateful heart. Whatever the case may be, I may be waking up to 20 orders and I know I got to get through the day and, and mm -hmm. do that and be a mom and be a teacher. I'm a teacher at this point. Um, all, all of that, right? But so just having those daily, like I know a lot of people um, write down quotes or they write down their goals and aspirations, which is really powerful. Um, have those things that you read and use your pen, like pen and paper is the most powerful thing. Once you write it down, it becomes something that you can actually visualize, right? And so I can visualize me not having a bad day, right? So I'm not going to let anything block my joy. I'm not going to let anything become a problem or issue, right? Because I already have a, a positive mindset going into it. Now, the other person that you may encounter or whatever it may be can have the worst attitude and you can maybe turn it around for somebody else. That, that's that's okay. true. That, that's true. What is the thing about you do something consistently? You can make it a, a habit. What's that? Um, what's it called? Um, doing doing I, something. Don't put me on the spot. Uh, doing something consecutive for twenty one days becomes a habit. That's what. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was yeah. gonna say you said all the words. Put you, all right. on, the, put you on the spot, but, but no, that's that's real though. Like I never forget. Like when we take Kirsten to school, she played the same song every day, and it irritated me. And but I was like, this, "This my daughter." And I'm, I'm gonna tell you, it can be the simple situation of it can be your own person that you love and adore. It's their rhythm, right? She would sit there and play. What was that? Kurt Franklin smile. Yeah, a smile. Yeah. And it, you know what? I'm, I'm I believe in God. You know, I read the you know, good book as much as I can, or I, you know, refer to scriptures. But you know, the devil has a way of like interrupting your day, right? And I'm not saying she's the devil. The song's the devil. And she used to want to say, "Daddy Sam, can I play that song?" And every day she played the same song over and over. I said, "Oh my God!" She played this one more time, but she was in her element, right? And she was and she was focused as a four year old that. 
that's going to be my rhythm every day is playing that song, put me in a good mood. So whatever happens at school, whether it be, you know, I didn't get a good nap time or a little kid was being rough at the playground or I didn't like the song playing at music time. She's good because she had that song in her head and we played it every morning to Kurt Franklin smile. Like she continued to do it every day and all the time. She's like, can we play this song? So that's, you know, what we mean, like whatever your focus is or whatever you have your mindset to, you can get out of that well, so-and-so made me mad today or, you know, I'm in a bad mood now. And I've seen people all the time. It can be one phone call. It can be a text message. It can be anything. And they're it mad. It can be for not getting guacamole for your tacos. It could, right. It could be not putting the dishes up. And, you know, it ruins your whole day. And, and unfortunately, we are people off of, we, we are strong people off of emotions, right? Use that emotion for something else. So you just have to put that energy. I know, I, sometimes I do it. I used to a lot. Uh, like when I get mad at things, I'll go mow the grass. That's like the biggest, that's like the best thing to me is like, I tune everything out in the world is, you know what? I'm mad. I'm upset. It could be anything. I go mow that grass. I feel like I'm Hulk. Tony can attest to it. She didn't call my name 20 times. She'd be like, you ain't see me? No, I'm mowing the grass. And it's nothing that she did. It's just, I'm in my element. You know, so I had to get out of that mood because I'm not going to let the mood determine me all day long. So my homies, they they love lifting weights. You know, they get mad. They go lift weights. They feel like they've conquered the world. So you have to find an element that just takes you out of that mind frame and still let people, you know, get the energy. And I guarantee you, when you are in that element, you start thinking things of, okay, look, I can do this better or I can, you know, that's all about profit. You know, take taking your problems and turning that into a profit, not not the profit at church, but P R O F I T. Profit. No, because people are like profit. Y'all think, but no, that's real. Like you, you have to get in your element and like stop letting. Like I see it, it just it irks me because I see it all the time. I'm like, how you let someone have so much power over you? That is crazy to me. You cannot let have, people have power over you, and they know they got to you. And Tony do it sometimes. She's like, look, oh, I didn't got to him. Um, not in a bad <laughs> way, but she knows how to go ahead. People don't get to me, right? Because I learned a long time ago to like separate the emotions from like si situations, right? So, like, yeah. like you could do some of the craziest things to me, and I just be like, girl or boy, right? Um, I'm just not dealing with you anymore, right? So, I know my boundaries, I'll just let stuff rock. I just won't deal with you anymore. Um, so, things don't bother right? me, but so I have to teach, um. I have to, you know, teach the people around me, especially, you know, my, my daughter, I have to say to her, you know, like when she's emotional about a game or whatever, I want her to be able to express her emotions. But I also want you to know that your emotions don't control you. And so a lot of people let um, the emotional part of them control their outcome in life. Right. Why do they let, um, them, let their emotion control them, though? I don't know. That's a good question. I'm Listen, <laughs> I, I, I feel like on this subject, exactly. I'm the wrong one because I'm like really... um black or white when it comes to most situations like i'm I, i'm a i'm not a real gray area i'm like it is or it isn't um and so i don't have that struggle anymore right i'm probably right. sure in my younger years i probably had that struggle but um at this point i just be like well okay so this is what i do start doing um if something bothers me i only let it bother me for that day <laughs> or I only let it bother me for a few. I mean, depending on the situation or whatever. And right. I'm talking about from the from the simplest things to the extreme. Like if I'm grieving, I have a real, real strong grieving day, and then I pick myself up tomorrow, and it's it's completely different, right? Like, um, That's I mean, we I've been, seen it. we've we've been through some things or whatever over these past couple of years, and I've I've lost a lot of people, and I will. Um, had that one day, I, I, but then I started thinking about like all of the, the good things, right? Of course, right. right? So that's what you have to do. You have to really change. It, it's like a mind shift. Um, so I don't say like if you have a situation where you feel like you can't function or something like that, like don't not show that emotion, right? Show right. whatever emotions you need to show, whatever, but let it be contained to now I know this emotion. I recognize what it does to me and how it makes me interact with other people. And so I'm going to put that emotion in a box and work on it every day so that it doesn't affect me as much. 
Right? Because it's probably going to affect you at some level. I ain't going to say I'm you, bothered, but I'd be mostly unbothered. Right. No, you know what's crazy you said about that, that I think I spoke on earlier is you said, you know, you grieve a lot or whatnot, right? Like your grieving process is different from mine. So I think that's the important part of you have to let people not only like, I'm going to say grieve or like their emotions, right? On their own time. It's the same thing about what I said earlier about when I started Elevate. It was on my own time, right? Mm -hmm. So I had to learn that like you have to let people elevate, grieve or whatever it may be on their own time. You can't push people because that starts to push people away because you're not respecting their process. That's why right. when, when I say trust the process, that's my process. That's not Tony's. That's not, you know, Jimbo next door or whoever, right? That's my process. My process is totally different from everyone else's. And I think that's the important part of respecting people's privacy as well. For sure. Or just um, respecting people, it just in general, not just in like a privacy aspect. It's just really just overall having a genuine respect and concern for another human being to, and to be true. selfless and not think that the world really is just about your problems and your issues. It's more things going on in the world. Um, and just we, what you going through. Right. We take advantage of that too. Like, um, it's more things in the world. You have to get a, little things. Like, you can't let little things bother you or it irk you. You know, you go out in this world, people out here suffering. They don't have the clothing they need, the shoes they need. They don't have, you know, a roof over their head. And we're sitting complaining about, oh, I didn't get my guacamole. Or I didn't get, you know what I'm saying? Or my tablet died. That's real life, man. Like, we do complain. No, we take those things for, no, we take advantage of those things because, you know, that's but real life. That's not shocking to anybody. Sometimes it's good to only have yeah, that but, problem, but, okay? But, but, but Esther needs shoes on her feet, right? So, <laughs> no, that's real. You're right. You're right. But No, but no, for, I, that's, that's a holistic, that's not just, it's holistically. Like, people, they get comfortable and complacent. Like, oh, well, I should have this. I should have that. But there are real problems in this world that they need to be attended to. And um, I'm, I think also in the aspect we have to be grateful for where we're at, but we also take a step back and be like, you know what? We're blessed where we're at, right? So, you know, we're still trying to, as people, figure out our problems and turn it to profit. We need to help others do the same thing as well as far as elevate them. Hey, how can I help you? Hey, you know, Tony does a great job of that as well. Like she, you know, everybody's gift is different. And she loves elevating, helping others. Right. Because some people cannot, they, they're screaming for help, but they don't, you know, know how to ask for help. You know, it's, it's different. Right. And so she does a great job of just like helping people and getting that, like whatever they're trying to get out of them, she helps them get that out of them. So that, that's most definitely also a, a aspect of turning people's or individuals, whoever their problems into profit. I think also another thing that I, um, I look at daily is, we people need or whoever it may be need to invest more time into them instead of own own yourself right mm -hmm. um and that can just mean anything like coming home doing the norm going to soccer games t-ball baseball basketball rugby whatever it may be put that time back in yourself like life is already as stressful as it is but I think I've learned that as well going over the years as far as, you know, my life, my job or whatever. Sometimes we just need a time out. And I needed that last week. It just, you know, I didn't need the time off just to go play. I needed that time to reflect on myself. People, you know, you, you have to invest in yourself and investing can be anything as far as, <clears throat> excuse me, it could be anything as far as, look, I need to lose this weight. Let me get this plan together or, you know, I need to get more financial savvy. I need to read more on this subject or I need to, you know, take care of just me holistically as a person, person where it can be my hair, my beard, my eyelashes, whatever. Invest in yourself because most of the time we let ourselves go and everybody out there looking like, are they all right? Because you only got, you only got yourself, you only got one life. One, one vessel. Right. So I, I think the, the biggest thing is rein well, invest, but reinvest in yourself, right? You know, yeah. it's it's cool to invest in others, but if you invest in so much in other people, you have nothing left. If you've given all you got at the beginning, you have nothing left to give when it falls on hard times. So I want people to remember that. 
give little by little by little by little, right? And then if there's something that come up, like, oh, I got to put my four and fours, you will have that left because of the fact you gave little by little at the beginning. But if you give your whole, your full self at the beginning, and that's not talking about marriage or or that's work or anything. Yeah, relationships, friendship, you know, you know, family members, job, church, you know, anything. Give little by little and make sure you always put yourself first because a lot of people I know they lose their self because of the fact we've they've given so much at the beginning. Well, that's just like the um well several things come to mind, but like for one, you gotta redeposit it to yourself. So I just keep, you know, when they say you need to pay yourself first, or when the plane going down that. and they tell you to put your mask on before you put someone else's mask on. It's just basic principles. Like you can carry it into different situations. That's crazy. I ain't thinking That's about all it. Like that. What? Like paying yourself first? Yeah. Pay yourself first. What do you mean pay, pay yourself, yourself first? first? Is it like financially or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Financially. Like you're going to, well, you're going to pay God first, right? You're going to do your tithe. If if that's your thing, right? Well, Jesus, then, my five percent. I ain't got ten percent this week, Lord. But I'm <laughs> well, he gonna take whatever you got, right? Nah, so, I got you. I got so you. So you're gonna tie it first, and then you're gonna pay yourself first, and then you're gonna, I mean, like allocate that into it. But I'm not talking about in a financial sense. I'm talking. Right. I mean, I'm talking about in paying yourself the time and energy and and the love that you need um, in order to be able to pour into other people, right? You got to pour into yourself first. Love yours. Love yourself. Mm -hmm. That's true. Um, yeah. You got to have some type of routine. Like I, I, um, like on Sundays, right. I have my self-care Sundays. It's like 45 minutes. It's not anything major, but I just started doing it. Self-care Sunday. Tell like, me about self-care Sunday. Literally, it's only been like three Sundays. I used to do it more consistently <laughs> when I had everything going on. Right. But, um, I was like, I just got to carve that time out. Um, and I include, you know, Kirsten in with it, right? Because I need her to know how to take care of herself too. Yeah, you lose that too. Well, I mean, you're breaking my bad. You lose I that too because of the fact I know I need to do a better job of that as well. My friend gave me an idea about she does a, a monthly me day. Shout out Lisa. I got it from her. She said she does a monthly me day where she goes to the spa, get her toes done, massage, whatever it may be, right? I may go two or three months, four or five months, you know, so I need to do a better job of doing it as well because I got to take care of myself, right? You know, you have family. I think people also at the time, it's not judging anyone individually. <clears throat> they feel they're selfish for doing that, right? Well, I got my my, my husband, my wife, or my, my cousin, my mom, or my daddy, whoever. I got to take care of them. But you got to remember that you were on this earth to make sure that you put yourself first. It's yeah. not being selfish or selfless. You got to take care of you because you don't take care of you. You ain't got enough for nobody else. Well, if you don't take care of you, you're not going to, you're going to cease to exist, right? You're going to cease to exist even in, in the physical or you're going to cease to exist in the mental. So what good are you? If you What's that song? Sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep around mine. Ooh. Yeah. You remember that, that song? That's real. Uh, of course. Sweep. My grandma used to say that all. That's for real. No. You got to sweep around your own front door. So yes. I'm, 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 that's real. I just got to, <clears throat> that's something I'm going to learn. And I hope everyone that's listening or seeing this, you take care of yourself first and don't don't feel selfish about that. You only got you. And I'm stressing that because those are things I've been through as a person. I used to put people first all the time when I got disappointed because I expected the same thing. I never forget this one time. I had my homeboy move. No, 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 no. Well, that was another situation. My Tell homeboy. It. Look, I don't even say nobody <laughs> name on this, but he uh it was a situation. I ain't gonna say this. No, no, I'll tell you in private, but he needed some help, um, I think, with his son or move. I think it was moving. And I'll never forget this day. And I, that's the thing is I let things go, but I always remember. And so I needed to rent a car to go out of town, right? And I called him. I was like, hey, man, can you um, – I forgot some documents at the house. Can you come pick me up? And so, I'm, I'm look, I'm thinking this guy going to say yes. We cool. I've done a lot for him. He was going through a lot of situations, right? And this is not the first time. I'm going to tell you about the second time in a minute. You don't know what he said to me? See, they wouldn't even get no second time. Okay. Let me, you mean what he said to me? He He's was like, sleeping. man, I'm with the chick right now. Oh. <laughs> I, be, I can't do it. He, I said, for real? So anyway, I had to walk home 
from the rental company to my old apartment. It was raining. I had to call my other homeboy. He's like, hey, man, I'm on the way. I'll, you know. I have so many questions, but I, okay. I have so many questions. But so ahead. he took me to get the rental and I was on my way. There's another time I needed help moving. I helped and I helped him now. I didn't help with his situation, all this, right? I needed help moving. And he was at the movies. He said he couldn't, you know, he's I'm going to move with somebody. You know what I'm saying? So I was mad. I gave him that energy. I was upset because I'm like, man, all this stuff I done did for you. Do you, you know what reciprocation me? is? Do you know what reciprocation is? What is it? Tell me about it. I'm giving you the same energy. Whatever energy you're throwing out to me, I'm throwing it right. But listen, I'm catching it and I'm right preach. back at you. Say okay. again. Preach. Preach. Whatever energy. Man, that's great. Look, look. That's crazy you said that. I ain't going to tell the other part of the story, but anyway, he didn't help me move whatever, right? That's crazy you said that because I live by that code all the time. Whatever energy you're giving me. Keep that energy. Keep that keep same that energy, energy because I'm going to yeah. give it to you, right? It's, it's nothing intentional, but I think people expect that you're supposed to go all out for them and they give you nothing. A they lot. give you nothing. I, I'm guilty of it the other way around too, though, right? Because we get what stuck in that. Like, I, like, I'm guilty of like taking. Right, I, I not. I mean, yeah. Oh, who there? Take, 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 take. <laughs> who said that? <laughs> hey, who take, said take, that? No, you doing take that? Take. Oh, that was Diddy. Take, take, take. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm not like a huge taker like that. Right. Right. Like, no, but I, I have had situations where I'm like, dang, I need to do something for somebody that's poured into me, right? Because I done took so much of their energy, right? Oh. That I need to pour back into them. I've had situations like that, right? But, that's crazy, like giving that. But same if you want negative type stuff, or you want some like, um, I'm gonna see about if what I can do for you after you, Adam, did the world for you in return. Like, yeah, we ain't doing that. And all these things is crazy. They're all problems, right? right. But I, I think the biggest thing is okay. So yeah, I'm giving you the same energy you give me, right? But how do we turn those problems into profit, though? Like I said, not speaking from a financial aspect, we're speaking from overall. Like, how do I turn that around? It, go ahead. I mean, I'm sorry. First gotta, well, first you gotta recognize, right? The the first step is always admitting, okay? Admitting that, and that's so hard to do. That I think admitting is hard because you see so much in that person, you'd be like, "Dang, man, let me give them one more chance." Like, no, I know it's wrong, but I need to. I know. That's crazy. I know. You have to admit. Admittance is the first step. So I, I guess after you admit, then what? Then you have to uh, formulate a plan, a plan of execution. So admit, plan, execute. Right? You mobilize, I, whatever. Uh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's real. I, I think that's the that's the biggest thing, right? Having that plan, executing it, mobilizing. Uh, what does Killer Mike say? I don't even know the whole thing he says, but that's real. Like, I think you have to like plan like how I'm not gonna say how I'm gonna get out of the situation, but the situation yeah, no, improve. No, plan how you're gonna get out of the situation, plan how you're gonna be better, plan how like you can't just just say, um, I I wanna lose 10 pounds, and then you plan to go eat a Burger King, or you plan to go eat a Chick fil A, or you plan, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh look, look, I wanna drink look, look. I drank water all day today. I came home, I had that burger. Ooh, shout out to Tony. She elevated on that grill yesterday. Yes. I ate that burger, and guess what I had? I was so I'm mad at coke. myself. I had some coke. I know, because I've seen Because I didn't have a plan. Yeah, but if you plan oh. to drink a gallon of water today, guess what you're going to do? Nine times out of ten. You're going to drink that gallon of water. Mm -hmm. That's a problem I have. That's a real problem I'm trying to turn to profit is, is I'm not going to say food intake. is just like eating healthy, right? And I have the people around us or me or whoever, you know, but it's just so hard when it comes to you. And you, you said it. No, it's come like come to me like me. Person, like, like, <laughs> no, you know what's crazy? You said that a couple weeks ago. You said you're trying to drink all this water. You're trying to do health, but you so buying those juices. Yeah, you got to stop doing stop. Contri oh, that's a good one. Stop contributing to the pain or the problem or whatever. It is. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, that's real. Contributing. We do that all the time, right? Listen, like, if you if you don't contribute no funds to your bank account, you can't buy nothing, right? That's real. There you go. Ooh, like, or, or drinking water. You can't like go get Coke or get what? What's that? Yeah. Um, what's that juice I like? Simply, I know. Simply every, lemonade, all that. Right. And I'll be like, I'm gonna drink water. We but got like five cases of water. Still drinking lemonade. 
if you don't buy it and you're thirsty in the middle of the night, what you gonna get up and go get? Man, right? I want to get that simply lemonade. But if that's not available to you, if that's not what you uh, have you have allocated in your plan, then you won't execute on doing anything bad, right? That, that's true. Look, I'm right now making a plan after Friday. I'm not gonna buy no more juices. Accountability. I'm gonna drink water. I'm gonna eat salads. I'm gonna do that green smoothie cleanse. I'm gonna go to keto. I'm gonna do the Daniel fast. <laughs> you better Black sea oil. You better. You better. Um, smoothies in the morning. You can't do. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. You can do you it. And do it. That's all. You can do it. You can do it in stages. Look, pray for me, right? <laughs> pray for me. You can't do uh, green smoothie. And then do keto because it's a lot of sugar in my... green smoothies and yeah, straight just... fruit vegetables. Well, I'm gonna elevate first. Let me go to um smoothie. Then I'm, I'm, gonna let you be great. I'm gonna let you be great. I'm gonna uh, see. But, I'm gonna give you your your space to figure out what you need to do. Yeah, but, me, I, but yeah, but that is crazy that you said that about making sure that you don't contribute to you know the problem because a lot of times we do that, right? You yeah. know, we you're the biggest contributor. Yeah, it, it can be health wise, like Coke or. You know, you don't want to drink alcohol, keep buying alcohol on Fridays, you know, after you get off work. Or it can be this friend, they're taking from you and they're not giving you anything, but you continue to. It, it can be you keep picking up the phone for them. All the time. This is the most dangerous. Ooh, this thing right yeah. here. That cell phone. I remember when I was in, what, I got my first cell phone in, what, 12th grade when I passed the exit exam. <laughs> I know it's all surgery, but that's, I mean, I could, you know, we're talking about contributing to your, you know, bad habits or contribute to your problem, right? I was just thinking about that, but I think we do need to do a better job as people just making sure that we, what you say, Tony, I like the exit, you know, we have, we have takeaways at work. What's a takeaway? You what? You admit. You admit. You plan. Admit, plan. And then you execute. And you execute. Admit plan. Can I let me write that down? I know on my phone we all recording. Who cares? Admit plan and execute. That's the takeaway. That's the takeaway. So how do you um, elevate? Is the question out of your problems to turn your your problems into profit? Teacher, you admit. Teacher, after that, you're gonna set a plan. Teacher, mm -hmm. and after that, you're gonna execute. Hmm, good job, good job. That's, that's cool. Now I let's like see this. Oh, that's so what? Oh, let's let's. So I, you know, again, I said last time, like this is a accountability um, situation for me, right? And mm -hmm. so, what is the one thing outside of no juice, right? Because you already that's been whatever, right? So, what's the one thing that you want to be held accountable for that we can check back in? Ooh. I'm a, hold I'm a, on, I usually say, hold on, okay. hold on. it might be like episode eight or something. Hold on, hold on. Ooh. So no, it, it, ha it has to be dealing with that, though. I'm about it, to put be... it on my little board up here. We'll be checking back in. <sighs> Accountability. No, whatever problem that you. I you mean, like... the problem is like eating healthy. So that's your problem. So, so, but what, what's your, what's your measure going to be? Hold on. Is that my, is that my, okay. If I think about a problem. Well, I kind of started the podcast, so we can't even put that on record no more. So we're gonna move that, right? Right. So, it's, I, yeah, I think the next thing, you know, I'm, I'm getting my visa line soon. You know, finances, you're trying to get that in order. I think the biggest thing I'm trying to attack right now, really, is because we have to eat healthy, and you know, diabetes is real. Too much sugar intake, all that. Right? I've seen the worst of it. So uh, it is health, and that's gonna be another uh, podcast episode. You know, healthy eating, healthy living. So, um, so we holding you accountable to the, but but you have to do something really specific, right? That we can measure, because measurable can, takeaway. Yeah, you can you can eat healthy to today, and then tomorrow you can have so, a, a day so, that I, you know, so weight though no, your weight my weight. Yeah, but I mean weight fluctuates too. Like I'm talking about like some let's what's something my like okay so I know that I want to read more right right. So I know that I can say the problem is I'm not not reading enough, right? right. And um, I want to expand in personal levels, right? So I need to read some or business level. I need to read some personal or self help books or whatever, whatever, right? Motivational right. books. So I'm admitting I need to read okay. more to you know open my mind to certain things, right? 
so what okay so, I can so to read every day for 30 minutes right okay and then I I like that. in two weeks how many books i've read okay right? so we're gonna do so so make it fair we're gonna do it in a a month from now was it october the 14th okay okay now we know how we are about dates now i'm gonna hold you to the plane but can we start on friday though no tomorrow never comes oh you got me on that one you're right okay you're right you're right you're right so how we're gonna measure that though how we're gonna Oh, I know how. Can we do it by? You want to do ten pounds? What you drive? You still doing weight or no? What about? <laughs> hold on, let, me, let, let me think about this. Look, look, I know we got to wrap up. Look, look, let me like think about this. I'm just thinking about it. How about I eat in thirty days? Can you see me side iron? I'm side iron. Is that eating vegetables every day? Whatever you can't see, I'm side iron. Huh? Yeah, I still eating vegetables every day. I cook you vegetables every day. That ain't no. I think it's the weight thing then. Lose 10 pounds in 30 days. 10 pounds, 30 days. I think you got it in you. Challenge. Got you. All right. Okay. So commit, plan, execute, and the accountability is going to be um, 10 pounds. Y'all pray for me because uh, whoo, Lord knows that I love to eat. First of all, let let part of your planning stage not include me cooking. <laughs> oh no! When I get on this smoothie and all that, we are gonna be good because I don't. You know, you are gonna do your thing, I'm doing my thing. I don't need that no more. I'm gonna go ahead and try my own. Say what? You be still need me to blend when I be making smoothies. Everybody knows. But you know what? That's that's my accountability. So I know you still gonna do your thing or whatever. But I'm probably gonna venture off and you know. Okay. Well, we got there. You have it. Two challenges. Hey, can I say track. something funny? Can I say something funny for we? You know, you know? Okay, I'm look, look. Somebody said this. This is a prayer. This is what happened today when, while they were at work. This is all about elevating. Y'all ready for this? Do this I is deep. Up or down? You can you can look up. Look, this is this is real. I need you to understand how real this is. You ready for this? This is. They said, you know what, Sam? Can you say this on your podcast? My coworker elevated today. That coworker had a song called "Wipe Me Down." <laughs> you remember that song? <sighs> so, so my friend said, "I just heard wipe me down and got a word." This man said, "I pulled up at the club, VIP, gas tank on E, but all drinks on me." That's meaning in the midst of his own struggle. My God. He was willing to be a blessing to others. Now look down at your neighbor and say, wipe me down. Amen. Amen. He, look, even in the midst of his own struggles, he still was elevating. He is Ain't that awesome. crazy? He pulled up to the club. Gas tank on E. <laughs> you hear me? Do you hear me? When you pull up to the club, your gas tank is on E. Still but drink still on E. Okay. I mean, you get little, little drink still on me. He still elevated in the midst of his own struggle. He ain't have no gas, but all the drinks was on him. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> now we appreciate you guys tonight. Um, somebody told me today a blessing is not always monetary. So if you can please just like, comment, share, tell your friends. Amen that I'm finally on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud. iHeartRadio is coming soon. Please follow my YouTube. You see it at the top, but for guys that's listening, Elevate by SJC on YouTube. Same for Facebook, Elevate by SJC. On Instagram, Elevate underscore by underscore SJC. And on Twitter, Elevate underscore by underscore SJC. Please. Elevate say, by SJC. Yeah, it just search up. it. Yeah, go to go to Google, search it. We appreciate you guys. Real talk. Um, I can't wait till the new intro video next week. That's gonna be so dope. I, 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 I hope it comes out real good. But no, I really appreciate you guys for supporting me. Please, 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 like, share, subscribe, comment. I need all that. Right? We're trying to elevate you to the stopped. next level. I said a what? Should have sung it. What the song? No, <laughs> the like, share, comment, subscribe, all of those oh, things. Like, 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 make a song out of. Yeah, make a jingle. Do it next time, not this time. We, we running over. Oh, you better right. not, please. <laughs>
But now we appreciate you guys. We about to be out of here. Elevate uh, until next time. Always remember, elevation requires separation. separation. We out of here. Peace. Bye.